वेलकम टू एन एम ई आई सी टी साक्षत ई कंटेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एच आर डी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑफ मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट द प्रोजेक्ट इज अंडर एन एम ई आई सी टी दैट इज नेशनल मिशन ऑन एजुकेशन थ्रू इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर दिस मिशन अ प्रोपर बैलेंस बिटवीन कंटेंट जनरेशन research in critical areas relating to imparting of education and connectivity for integrating our knowledge with the advancement in other countries is to be attempted in order to bolster our knowledge resources to obtain and maintaining the competitive edge in the world we require a system of identification and nurturing of talent and lifelong learning knowledge modules based on personalized needs of the learner would need to be delivered to him or her at the right time with the right content interactively to take care of his or her aspirations with these objectives in mind these videos are created for the portal saksham we will learn basic marketing over here Hi, I am LL Means Learner. I am learner of marketing management. I learn marketing in master's class. The desire for learning marketing comes out of interest. This is very interesting topic. Marketing management is seen everywhere in the society. You see up or down, you see here and there, you can see brand names and logos and advertisements and people working in marketing area. I am very much interested in learning marketing. Let us learn marketing from Dr. J. Bedayani. He is going to teach marketing management under Sikshat E Content Development Project under National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology that means N M E I C T. Let us start learning. Good morning to all. Today We are going to learn marketing research. Hello and welcome to Sakshat E Content on marketing management. Today we are going to understand the marketing research. Let us start the understanding with the definition of marketing research. According to the American Marketing Association, marketing research is defined as the gathering recording and analysis of all facts about problems relating to transfer and sale of goods and services from producer to customer well several modern marketing researchers have added several things in this definition according to the modern definition instead of gathering recording and analysis it is six parts which are there it is planning gathering recording analysis interpreting and presentation this six process six steps of the marketing research process is inclusive another thing is about facts it is not only about facts they have added facts as well as opinions and facts and opinions not about only problems but even if the organization the company finds any kind of opportunities then and also then marketing research is carried out so in the academics marketing research definition is improved and added well this goes for process of marketing research too if we try to understand the process of marketing research they are divided into basically six parts the process of marketing research starts with defining the problem and research objectives first you define the problem or you define that opportunity which is converted into problem that how to take that opportunity that is what is the problem now that problem is divided into several objectives 
as if you have got long term objectives you go step by step to achieve them the total problem is divided into several steps there are objectives to be achieved well then afterwards you have to go for developing the research plan the second step then the third is collecting the information the fourth is analyzing the information the fifth is presenting the findings and the last step the sixth one is making the decision several marketing authors do not agree with this statement that making the decision is not the part of marketing research of course let us have both the arguments that one says making the decision is the part of marketing research while another says no the decision making part may be under marketing intelligence system may be under the planning of marketing activities to you can say organizing uh, implementation and control i mean to say management of marketing activities but it is not under marketing research now let us understand the marketing research process in detail step 1 definition of the problem and objectives clear cut concise statement of the problem means you are going to have a successful marketing research project it should not be a vague one it should not contain the words like maybe it should not be something where you can't reach it is something which is clear cut accurate and concise well that is what is the problem the definition of the problem now this problem when divided into objectives they are achievable targets like to know the several things is one of the objectives to carry out how my sales is going down to know the sales person's attitude for an example is one of the objectives to carry out the research on why my sales is going down to have problems with the product is another objective to know rather to carry out again this or to reaching to the same problem again well that is what is definition of the problem and objectives the second stage talks about develop the research plan that research plan is developed in several steps the first step is defining the data sources there are two kinds of data sources primary data and secondary data primary data can also be said as first hand data in common language i mean to say the researcher himself collects the data for the research purpose while secondary data is the data which may be collected for some other purpose and may be used primary data can be a research survey a questionnaire you go and you fill it up fill it up and you have got that data well secondary data can be books or journals or websites etc which may be published already published and you are using it next comes research approaches that is primary data can be collected through five ways through observation or focus group or survey or behavioral data or experiments that is the approach through which the data are collected next is research instrument it can be a telephone it can be a questionnaire it may be some Uh, you can say quantitative measures or it may be some technological devices like a camera it may be several times some mechanical devices too next comes is sampling plan or there you have to decide sampling unit who is the sampling unit who can be the part of the sampling unit defining universe and sample of course it's a part in research next is sample size what may be your sample size you are not going to ask to the total population if the population is very large and then you have to go for sampling if the population is very small you can go for the total population count 
but normally in marketing the population is large one and you have to go for sample uh, sampling decisions and then sampling procedure or sampling decisions frame decisions like if you decide out of 1 crore people 1000 will be your sample but in that 1000 who can come under that 1000 how you will select that that is what is known as sampling decisions i mean to say it may be random like you select uh, you go for random numbers or it may be convenience whomsoever i can meet i have met that is what is there next is the contact method Contact method may be personally, may be telephonic, may be by mail, etc. Well, that is what is, you can say contact methods. Step 3 talks about collecting the data exactly. Well, whatever you have planned in step 2, you have to implement in step 3. That is what is step 3. Step 4 is about analysis of the data. Analysis can be done in two ways number one a quantitative data analysis and number two qualitative data analysis quantitative data analysis involves statistical methods several tests like parametric tests and non-parametric tests while qualitative data analysis is performed specifically when quantitative data analysis cannot be performed it is a subjective analysis. It is observation results. It is about the discussion. It is about the subjective one. Well, after analyzing the things, you have got a bunch of results, which is which you are interpreting in common language or which you are interpreting in decision making language. That you are going to present to the decision makers, which is the next fifth step. Well, presentation can be orally, can be through some video like we are doing over here or through some uh, slides, I mean to say PowerPoint slides or some uh, other uh, presentation softwares. That is what is the oral part or in the written report format. The written report format has got several you can say uh, points which are to be noted by researchers the research report has got several elements number one title page the title page involves the title of the problem for which you are doing to whom you are submitting etc information several time several photographic uh, presentation is also there on title page next is table of contents well table of contents covers the part which are there in the report as contents parts we are uh, we are looking in uh, any any book in the starting pages next is executive summary the summary after reading of this executives can understand the total research report is known as executive summary. Next is methodology part and limitations part. You cover over here the you know how you planned and what are your samples and what are your uh, approaches and what kind of research it was there whether it is descriptive or it was exploratory or it was experimental research etc are covered over here. Then findings are there what findings came out is uh, you know uh, an element of that research and next and last is recommendations the last pages may cover several times bibliography and acronyms and etc the last sixth step making a decision is not done by marketing researchers but it is about marketing decision makers who make the decision based on this marketing research so making a decision is the last step over here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the class and watching. I have learned a lot. Did you? Have a good day from the learner.